shall arise by thunder and by fire. And it will make you a man or woman of great favor. Backing against your reign of favor. I silence them now in the name of Jesus. Time for you to now pray. Time to pray. Please, I want to beg you. If you are not used to praying hard, pray this one hard. Because once this product of heaven come upon you, your story will certainly change. Say, angels of favor! Angels of favor, look at me now. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Divine favor. Divine favor. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. You will now shout this loud and clear. My head. You know your head is the symbol of your destiny. My head. My head. My head. Can you shout it three times like that? Hear the word of the Lord. Receive divine favor. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here. In Jesus' name we pray. So many transactions are taking place. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you some of them. On to which the the people who are involved will testify. I want to come. Yes. Very. That interview you are going for, if I want to learn what you love, shall become a walkover for you. Where are you, Jazzy? Because of the prayer you prayed just now, the Lord is ushering many people into uncommon wealth. Oluwa mo kolo ko eni owo na oro ti o wo po. 
the kind of place they think you will never go the kind of house that you think you will never have I see you possessing them in the name of Jesus aha then the kind of breakthrough that the whole of your lineage family lineage have never experienced you will be the first person to up to experience it in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the anointing for deliverance, anointing for complete healing, fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Let this hands break every yoke of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Now if you have any infirmity in any part of your body. Smite it 21 times. Shouting go back to your senders. Let's go. Do it well, do it well. Shedada, shedada. Makatenda, riba kapal, di katen. Amen. Amen. Begin to check your body now. Do what you could not do before you got here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear. Oh God, Allah, can you say that loud and clear? Shout it again loud and clear. And let my story change. Jackie, Tommy, you pass In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Lie no rest. Badura, fun, you pass that you twenty. Masandire, open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Eshe Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. After this next prayer, someone is here. A miracle that will shock and surprise your doctors will happen to you. Maybe you didn't hear what I said well. But a miracle that will shock your doctors and surprise them. After this prayer, the power of mysterious affliction can you allow your voice to roar like thunder? Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the power of mysterious affliction. But power In the name of Jesus. Thou power of mysterious affliction. Die in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. They said to Elijah, What we for Elijah? The man of God come down. If I be 
a man of God. Let fire come down. Shout this loud and clear. Voices of demotion. Voices of Asking me to come down. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Deal with the voices of demotion. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Lain ure, lain ure. Instead of me to come down, let fire come down. In Jesus' name we pray. Thou crystal ball. Thou mirror of darkness. Can you shout those two things loud and clear? This prayer is for somebody who is not praying yet. Can your voice be loud? Can your voice be loud? A sign against me. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Scatter their crystal ball, scatter their mirror. Scatter their mirror. Scatter their mirror. Let their crystal ball explode in their faces. Let their crystal ball explode in their faces. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this day. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, lay your hands upon us here this morning. Open our understanding. Give us deep knowledge. In Jesus' name we pray. In louder, amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. This morning, we are looking at what I call confronting the spirit of Belial. Confronting the spirit of Belial. And if you like, you can say Belial if you like, but it's the same thing. This is a strange year. As we have been told, at the crossover service of the new year. Be at in so for one in you show root if you want to turn in. Strange year, right? Or do I judge you? If there is one spirit, tell me, come by one that we need to confront this year. To your car, call you just in or do you and deal with it? Yes, she was the spirit of the year. A me belly ali. I just want to go into the scriptures. Nikia kia mufa ye we mi mo wo and show you the characteristic of this spirit. Kini si fun ye ni awa mu ye a mi. And how to confront it. Ati bi eo ti doju ko. And how to deal with it. Ati bi eo ti wo ulule. It will be a tragedy. I jambal ni yo je. If you have the knowledge of a situation. Ti oba ni o ye i pokon. And you do not use your knowledge to save yourself. To si lo ye to ni la ti gbara re la. Confronting the spirit of Belial. Ki ko ju ja si e mi Belial. In Deuteronomy chapter 13. Ni ni we Deuteronomy ori ketala. Deuteronomy chapter 13. E we Deuteronomy ori ketala. If there is any spirit we need to confront this year head on. Ti e mi kon ba wa to ye ka ko ju si. This is a major one. Deuteronomy chapter 13 from verse 13. If you are there, say yes. Deuteronomy 13, 13. Let's read verse 13 and 14 together. Let's go. Certain men. Once you go around, you can see that you can look at the same thing. 
Amen. Amen. Certain men, the children of Belial, are gone out from among you. And have withdrawn the inhabitants of the city. Saying, Let us go and serve other gods. Which ye have not known. Keep that at the back of your mind. In Judges chapter 19. Judges 19. Verse 22. Judges 19. 22. Now, as they were making their hearts merry, behold, the men of the city, certain sons of Belial, beset the house round about, and beat at the door, and spoke to the master of the house, the old man saying, bring forth the man that came into the house that we may know him. They wanted him to bring out a man so that the men can sleep with the man which the Bible calls homosexualism or sodomy. It is the spirit of Belial. In 1 Kings chapter 21. 1 Kings chapter 21. Look at it in verse 13. 1 Kings chapter 21. Verse 13. We're looking at confronting the spirit of Belial. First Kings chapter 21 verse 13. And there came in two men. Children of Belial. And they sat before him. And the men of Belial witnessed against him. Even against Naboth. In the presence of the people saying. Naboth did blaspheme God and the king. Then they carried him forth out of the city. And stoned him with stones. That he died. Once he saw the Okuta Osiku, this man carried false witness against a man who owned his property. Lord, you see, you know, Lord, you win here. They came to bear false witness against the man. Oh, why Jerry? Okay, that is whereby that man was stoned to death. Ni kwa be onwa so kuni ni Okuta pa. In Second Corinthians chapter six, ni kori iwe kori ti keji ori ke kefa. Second Corinthians chapter six. Corinthians kaji ori kefa. Look at what it says in verse 15. And what concord had Christ with Belial? Or what part are he that believed with an infidel? And what agreement had the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them. I will walk in them. I will be their God. And they shall be my people. Beloved, there is a powerful spirit that is really addressed that has turned men upside down. It is the spirit of Belial. Belial means worthlessness. 
It means valueless. It means useless. It means despicable. It means wickedness. It means evil. It means ungodly. It means good for nothing. It means cheap. And vile. Belial is a ruling spirit of wickedness. A powerful principality with a host of demons under it that operate under his command. And from the few passages we've read, there are plenty of more passages, but those are the four we want to read. In the first one, the men with the spirit of Bela said they should go and serve other gods. In the second one, men with the spirit of Bela wanted to rape a fellow man like themselves. In the third place that we read, men with the spirit of Bela were bearing fault witness which led to the death of somebody who properly owned this property. In the fourth place that we read, God said, you should have nothing to do with them. So there is no agreement at all between the children of God and Belial. It is a ruling spirit of wickedness. Since Belial is the ruling spirit of wickedness, there is going to be plenty of wickedness this year. It has started already. But from reading these passages, from other passages about Belial in scripture, we are able to understand the characteristic of this strong man which has captured people and which we don't sometimes pay attention to. And in a strange boiling here like this, this spirit will be manifestation. For which purpose we need to start re-strategizing our prayers. And we need to pray certain prayers. Maybe the kind of prayers we've not been praying before. The kind of prayers that some people will hear and say, this is wickedness. How can they be praying this kind of prayer? But there is no gentle way of arresting wickedness. Every method to arrest wickedness is violent. That's why I'm praying for somebody here. The plan of the wicked for your life. The plan of the wicked for your family. The plan of the wicked for your career. The plan of the wicked for your children. Shall be buried this morning in the name of God. Let your that amen is not loud enough. The spirit of Belial it causes men and women to commit sins that are abominable. Abominable sins. Abominable sins. There are two cases that I'm handling now. Father slept with daughter. Baba, oba omo resu. Daughter now has a baby. Omo bioni wa ni omo from our own father. Lato wa baba to be. How do you resolve an abominable iniquity like this? Ba ole se wa yonju wa irira to to be le. It is the spirit of Belial. Emi Beliali that pushes men to do. Abominable iniquity. The spirit of Belial also draws men away from the living God to idols. Many of our modern day men are chronic idol worshippers. 
Many of our present day Christians are chronic it is not when you bow down to Amadiora, to Shango, to Ogun that you are an idol worshipper. No, a lot of people worship money. Or they worship money. Or they worship worship money. Some worship jewelries. Some worship food. Some worship sex. Anything you put before God. And beside God is an idol. It's an idol. Anything you put before God or beside God is an idol. God or beside God is an idol. So, a lot of our generation, they are actually idol worshippers. And it will be, it will be a tragedy to get to heaven and they say, you can't enter here because you're an idol worshipper. I say, but uh, I, 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 I did not worship the idol in my place. I say, yes, you are worshipping more than the idols. Yes, you are worshipping more than the idols. 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 The Bible says, when the love in your heart is not the love to God, you are an idol worshiper. And plenty of idol worshippers are. Some worship their skin. Some worship their property. Some worship their cars. Some take more care of their cars than their personal spiritual life. The person should be told point blank that you are an idol worshiper. And this is a strange phenomenon. That a man can spend the whole of his efforts in what will not move his life forward. It is the power and spirit of Belial. From the living God to idols. The mountain of fire and miracles ministry is a church that believes in holiness within and without. And we don't allow people to dress any hour. We don't allow people to come to our church and dress any way they like. Because a lot of people are already in trouble without those Kind of dresses. Those kind of dresses will then lead them astray more. The spirit of Belial leads men astray. He makes them follow worthless things. Worthless things. What does, doesn't have any value. This is what they will be pursuing. They forget seek ye first the kingdom of God. And and righteousness. And other things shall be added. I want to come on your side. They run after worthless things. Why my side to own to you? That will be useless immediately. The Lord said, "That's all right. Come out." Okay. The spirit of Belial seduces men and draws them away from the Lord. The spirit of Belial causes people to be selfish and stingy. Just, just keep hoarding things. You hoard clothes, you hoard book, you hoard money, you hoard all kinds of things. It's the spirit of Belial. The spirit of Belial promotes homosexual lust. The spirit of Belial causes family disruption. The spirit of Belial brings people under the bondage of addictive sins. It puts people, it makes people addicted to things like alcohol, cigarettes, and all kinds of addictions. The spirit of Belial makes believers to continue to live in sin and pretend to be holy. They pretend that they are holy, whereas it's a lie. The spirit of Belial leads God's servants astray. And I tell you the truth, a lot of pastors are just missing the road. The spirit of Belial promotes lack of mercy. Lack of mercy. The spirit of Belial promotes lack of mercy 
and compassion. And there is plenty of that around now. No mercy, no compassion. The spirit of Belia promotes greed and glutoning. The spirit of Belia causes a person to be accusing others of the very sin in his own life. Unfortunately, once the spirit of Bella moves into a life, a family, and environment, it tears down the protective spiritual wall around the person. The wall of fire that God has built around the person, this spirit has the power to pull it down if you allow it to come inside. I'm praying this morning that anyone here being caged by this spirit will be released by fire in the name of Jesus. Let that amen be louder if there is any spirit to confront this year this particular spirit the spirit of Belial promotes unexplainable fear and may cause people to be swallowed in an unreasonable flood of fear some are so scared and so afraid the spirit of Belia is the wicked lying spirit that plus to steal and to destroy. Getting believers who speak the truth now is becoming a real commodity. You find Christians taking telling lies as a simple thing, just tell lies. And it's a tragedy. The spirit of Belial is that spirit that convinces people that they have incurable disease and that they will never get well. Convince the person that this thing will kill you, you will not get well. Because it's a wicked spirit. The spirit of Belial is the spirit behind the corruption, the crookedness and the worthless lies that we hear. The spirit of Belial is the one responsible for marital destruction. The spirit of Belial causes men to act without conscience. No conscience. And once that conscience is gone, the conscience is said like all tired or the conscience is defiled. Then the spirit of Bela moves in and causes unspeakable wickedness to happen. Everyone has a conscience. But this spirit can neutralize the conscience before seducing the person to commit sin. This, the spirit of Belial is the spirit responsible for abominable sexual perversion. The spirit of Belial is the one responsible for cross dressing. Man dressing like woman, woman dressing like man. Man dressing like woman, woman dressing like man. Man dressing like man. Man dressing like man. Man dressing like it is wrong. Oh, Lord. When a woman is dressed like a man, man is dressed like a woman. The spirit of Bela is one responsible for prostitution. And pornography. If you do not address this thing. The Bible terms the person to a child of Belial. And if we do not bring it to order, it has the capacity to cage, capacity to confuse, 
capacity to make somebody disobedient to God. Capacity to push a person into what the person should not be pushing to. Capacity to make a believer backslide. Capacity to even make a person blaspheme the name of the Lord. Because it's, it's a shameless spirit. And highly deceptive. I pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And as this strange year is moving on. May the strangeness and the boiling of this year. Not cage anyone here in the name of Jesus. Four keys to confronting the spirit of Belial. Four keys. Number one. We must attack the spirit with acidic aggression. We must attack the spirit with acidic aggression. It's not the spirit you joke with. Because the, the demons under him are so numerous and so wicked. You must attack it. Two. You must separate yourself from this spirit. Separate yourself from the spirit. The Bible says you have nothing to do with it. Separate yourself from the spirit. Three. You must guard your heart. The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Whatever you are doing, guard that heart with all diligence. Then number four, lose yourself from the curse of Belial. Because once the person allows the Bible to term him or her as a child of Belial, the person comes under a curse. So all the disobedience, uncleanliness, adultery, infirmity, rape, rebellion, prostitution, irreverence in the house of God, alcoholism, immorality, sodomy, apostasy, backsliding, drug addiction, false teaching, fornication, blasphemy, conversion, lawlessness, pornography, shamelessness, lust, deception, and heresy, Hardness of heart. Sexual impurity. All the filthiness. Lying. They are all children of this strong man called the spirit of Belial. One, you must attack it. Two, separate yourself. You must look at you and know that you are serving the living God. You are dressing the way your outlook must be different from those who are serving the devil. You must guard your heart. Then lose yourself from the curse of Belial. And this is what we need to confront here this morning. More than I think at another time, beloved, we need to arrange strategic prayers to deal with issues. Strategic prayers to deal with strategic warfare. And our prayers must be tailored according to the warfare that we are facing. Like I was telling some people in the place, 
the machine gun that can help you to kill a wild elephant will be completely useless if you are battling against mosquito. You need to understand, understand that one. That the concept of warfare changes. When is the mosquito? It has been said that the animal the elephant fears most is the rat. The elephant would take the lion and slam the lion. The elephant can fight any animal. The elephant would to take his trunk, take up a serpent and slam the serpent against his trees. The elephant will kick the leopard, will kick the zebra. But when a small rat comes on the elephant, the elephant is in trouble. The rat is moving about at his back. He can't touch it. He can't catch it. So the concept of warfare that the elephant has, the rat has defeated it. So you need to organize your warfare according to the enemy you are facing. Rise up on your feet now. And let your voice roar like fire and like thunder. In this prayer that I want you to pray. The prayers may not make sense to you to start with. But the Lord will help you. The prayers may not make sense to you to start with. The prayers may not make sense to you to start with. The prayers may not make sense to you to start with. All eyes closed. Tonight, today, this day, learning, understand that spiritual warfare is fought with forces that you cannot see. But it's fought in faith. And it gives us breakthrough. With a loud voice, you will first of all address your own household. Power of Belial! Barabeliali in my father's house. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. This is a prayer you have to pray from your heart. In Jesus' name we pray. The power of Belial! Belial! Troubling my star! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and declare In Jesus' name we pray. Altars of Belial assigned to trouble me. Can you shout it loud? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Altars of Belial assigned to trouble me catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer. <laughs> we have to pray three times. 
But the three times will bring seven different miracles to pass. Number one, Ekini, as we start praying these prayers, in the process of the prayer, I didn't say when we finish you. An evil tree growing in somebody's compound. The tree is a coven. It will dry up. Why we are yet praying here? As we are praying this prayer, there are people who have been dreaming of sitting for examinations. And you don't understand what it means. It means the enemy is arranging tribulation for you. Those dreams shall be cancelled. As you pray this prayer, you be at him badura. Anyone there, anyone here battling with incurable disease. Any can any don't call you just say so to go. All of a sudden you feel a drop like dew falling on you. Get a logic, you know, come by a beer and go tomorrow and check. Else in Lola, like a little shia, you will be infirmity will have gone back to the sender. Every pile later, and I take what I lost on what all wrong because the Bible says I will not put upon you any of the diseases of the Egyptians. Later, the paper is a quem you okay, you're fear and cock or two while I'm with you, but I will put it on the bodies of those that hate you. As you pray this prayer, there are people who have received some discouraging news. By the time you finish praying the prayer, the discouraging news have been converted to miracles. As you pray this prayer, there is someone here. You will have what is known as unbelievable promotion. This this next prayer we're going to pray. As we pray this prayer, so the powers that have been removing good things from people's lives. They are and good things from people's lives. And we are going to pray. 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 In their dreams, those serpents shall dry up. And we do not yoke bed on. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? And we are praying three hot times. Serpents and scorpions of Belia. My life is not your candidate. Yeah! In the name of Jesus, you Open your mouth and declare. Both center Aha, aha, aha. Benny, Benny, Benny. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray. Aha, aha, aha. Something is happening now, you know, I told you. Jesus name we pray. This is number three. Open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Perfect silence. Heaven is at work. And it's working on behalf of so many people here. Silence.
the woman taking your name to the coven centers has been disgraced. What it you? Makato sepona kaya busha. Silence. Idakaje. As prophecies for somebody here. Is sotele e wa fe yan koni. The strong man. Okun ya lagbara ni. Assign at the gate of your business. E ti won yan lo de si bi owo re. Pushing away prosperity. Don't ti se rere jina si. Has been buried completely. A ti gbe si lo yo bayi. Thank you, Jesus. I say, um, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I say, um, Jesus. 